Hey guys, my name is Crazy Penguin, and we're taking a look at how to tweak Crisis 3 on the PC for better performance or to just toy around with some of the settings that you might not have known that you can change. Just about everything in this game can be tweaked, it's just not apparent on the surface. Crisis 3 has tons of customizable options from field of view to the smallest little things like lowering the value of shadow casting light scale, but you're not going to find them in the options menu. This game, like some others, has a console. You can access it by pressing the tilde key next to the number 1. Once it's open, you have access to enter in all your cheat codes. Not really, but it kind of feels like it. The problem is that anything that you enter here could only be temporary. The next time you start up your game, it's going to pull information from configuration files, and it might override or forget that you ever told it to change a certain setting. So I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can change this permanently. But at least now you know that this exists if you didn't already. The first way to toy with these options is by using a handy little tool that Crytek Balder has provided to the community. It's a simple little utility, but it definitely gets the job done. It's the first link in the description. It's going to take you to his forum post where you can download it and ask questions if you have any. Once it's opened up, it should look a little something like this, unless he's decided to update it somewhere down the road. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Use the tabs to find the options that you care about changing, and then hit the question mark buttons next to the options for a little explanation. Don't mess with things that you don't fully understand or at the very least take note of what the original values were or you might find yourself in a pickle. Once you've changed everything that you care to change, simply click the apply settings button at the bottom and make sure that you restart origin after this so that the changes take place. The other way to do it is manually, which is actually quite simple. Thanks to PC Gamer and I'm sure any number of other websites, we have a comprehensive list of most of the settings that can be tweaked in this game. Be sure to take a look in the description if you want to link to their page. On their site you can see the things I mentioned before, field of view, mouse smoothing, things like that. And once you have a list of all the things that you want to change, open up Notepad and add in the commands that you want, and then save it as autoexec.cfg, and then place it in the proper folder, which may be different for you. For me, it's Program Files, Origin Games, Crisis 3, the C3 folder. I'm sure you could do a search for C3 and find it just fine. There won't be another file for you to replace, so don't worry about that. And just about the only tricky part here is that you need to make sure that when you save the file, it isn't a text file. So it shouldn't say autoexec.cfg.txt. When you're saving it, select the all files from the drop down menu and then name it autoexec.cfg. And that should ensure that it is a config file. If you want to check, there's a couple ways you can do that. If you have details shown, you should see it in one of the columns. It should say cfg instead of txt. Or you can right click it, check its properties, and it should tell you what file type it is. Now I know I said it was simple, but let's do a quick mental checklist anyway. You found the commands you're interested in on either PC Gamer or some other website. You created a notepad document and pasted them in there. You didn't misspell anything. You saved it as a config file and not a text file. Then you placed it in the proper folder. And once all that's done, you restarted Origin and now you can load up your game. Once you're in game, you can press the tilde key and see if it worked. You're going to see a bunch of text that's in green. Those will be the commands that were executed when the game started up. And voila, everything's permanent now. Keep in mind that this is only for the PC that you did this on. If you attempt to play the game from another location or after a fresh install, you're gonna have to redo this process to get the effects again. I'm not sure if you guys have heard or have noticed, but Crisis 3 has some mouse acceleration on by default. And for me, that's a no-no. I prefer to play without it. I'm used to it without it. And there isn't an option to change that in the normal menus. But with the console command, there is. So that's one thing that I look for. And the other is field of view. I prefer to have about an 80 field of view. My computer doesn't have any performance issues, so I only added these commands to my config file. Mouse acceleration to zero. Mouse smoothing to zero. Mouse acceleration maximum, zero. Field of view, 80. Draw near field of view, 80. Which is like close objects in the gun in your hand. And then while sprinting, my field of view is 80 as well. No sense in kind of switching back and forth every time I sprint. I think that'd get a little annoying. Anyway, that's it. That's really all there is to know. Now you know how to make the most out of your game and hopefully fine tune it into being a more fun experience. Let me know down in the comments below some of the things that you've tried and what worked and what didn't. Be sure to hit that like button if you found this helpful and share it with your friends. I'm certainly glad that my friends shared this with me so that I can share it with you. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for more FPS content, including more Crisis 3, and check out some of our other content by clicking the video thumbnails on your screen. My name is Crazy Penguin. Enjoy the game.